Okay, my friend, if you are in real estate in 2025, if you are still running your business out of your head, you're doing it wrong and there is no longer any excuse. I have the perfect tool that is going to help you really streamline your systems and streamline your day-to-day -day in real estate. It's called Asana and you can use it for free. It is a fantastic task management tool. And in this video, I am going to show you how I use Asana to streamline my business and systems and create a seamless client experience without feeling overwhelmed by tech or nonsense or fluff and without getting stuck in the catch up. And hey, before we dive in, if we haven't met yet, I'm Stephanie Lugo. I'm a real estate agent and coach, and inside Market Authority Academy, we teach agents how to scale their businesses with systems that create predictable income without working 24 seven. If you wanna skip right ahead to taking actions and get these systems and learn how to put them in place, you can actually do that and get the process started by booking a call with me below. Check out the caption to book a time with me, and during that call, we'll map out the best path forward for your business so that you have a real plan. And if you decide you want my help in executing that plan, then I'll talk you through how it works in the Market Authority Academy. Okay, let's get to Asana. I'm so excited to walk you through. So this is actually recreating one of the most popular videos on this channel. And I felt like it was time for a little bit of a refresher for 2025. We have an awesome example of how much Asana can change the game for real estate agents. One of the agents that we work with had uh, a lot of things falling through the cracks and uh, because she had no system to track follow up and stay streamlined in her day to day. So this is from one of the workflows that she implemented and she said, I'm using the bio workflow that you guys provided for Asana and it's helping me stay so organized. It's also awesome because as things come up, I can just quickly add tasks to the various sections and not worry that I'll forget something. How great would it be to have a really solid framework and an operating procedure to follow for every component of your real estate business, rather than doing what a lot of agents do, which is trying to keep all the plates spinning at once and waiting for one to inevitably crash and throw you off track. Asana keeps all of those plates streamlined, spinning on its own, so that all you gotta do is check in and make sure they're moving in the right direction. If that sounds like what you need, stick with me because we're gonna get into it. So number one, let's talk about what Asana is and what Asana is not. So here's what Asana does really well for my business. It organizes my daily operations so that I never miss a critical task. It also keeps track of client workflows so that transactions run smoothly. And yes, we use a transaction coordinator a lot of the time in our real estate business, but we still wanna make sure that we're having a personal touch with those transactions and staying on track. And anything that our transaction coordinator isn't handling, it's helpful for us to be able to delegate through a platform like Asana. Asana also helps us stay on track with our growth system, which is consistent lead generation and marketing. It helps us stay on track with our power hours and make sure that they happen every day so that lead generation never falls off, even if we're busy with transactions or family stuff. And what I love most about Asana is it really helps with delegation. So really great Asana workflows can help you delegate tasks to a VA, or even if you're working with another partner or another person in your support team, being able to clearly identify which parts of a process someone else should be handling for you is so helpful and easy to do in Asana. Okay, let me interject here really quickly because I want to share something that I'm super excited about. I am going live with a free class open to real estate agents everywhere. It is digital, so no matter where you're at, you can come hang with me live for a 45 minute free class that is going to teach you my three system strategy to a thriving real estate business. That is coming up here soon. So go ahead and register for that seat for free. All the details are in the caption below, but hey, if you miss it, and you're seeing this in the future, I'm gonna have the replay up and ready for you to check out as well. So check out the caption below for all the details. You are not gonna to wanna to miss this totally free class where I'm going to be dishing on all the details of the three systems that you need for a thriving real estate business in 2025 and beyond. We'll see you there. Now, what is Asana not good for? I think this is like even more important than understanding what it is good for. Asana is not a CRM. You should not be using in... Like, like, please hear me. You should not be using Asana as a CRM. And there's a couple of different reasons for that that I can get into more in depth in a future video, but just know I am not tracking client communication or storing contacts in Asana. That's not what this is for. 
Asana is also not for lead follow-up specifically. Instead, Asana reminds me when to go into my CRM and what to do there for effective follow-up. Asana is also not necessarily for tracking business growth, right? That's metrics tracking that happens by tracking certain metrics on a spreadsheet, for example. Asana instead is gonna really keep me consistent on the actions that create growth. Asana is a task manager. It keeps you on task. It helps you schedule things out in advance and take big, complex workflows or projects and break it down into tiny, manageable steps so that you never feel overwhelmed. Okay, so now that we know what Asana is good for and what it's not good for, what I want to do is kind of break down three specific workflows that you want to have built out in Asana. And what's cool is in the Market Authority Academy, we template these out and then train agents on exactly how to import in a couple of clicks and modify it for their real estate business so they get that instant gratification of streamlined, organized, structured goodness with Asana. You can do this too by hand if you're not in the Market Authority Academy. Watch along with me while I'm just kind of sharing a few things that you should know. All right, so the first thing that I recommend you having in Asana, and this is like bare minimum, you really wanna have your growth system dialed in, meaning what you're doing on a daily basis to generate leads. Okay, so if you find um, that your business is kind of like all over the place, you might have a closing for one month and then three closings the next month and then nothing for three months and you just go into that endless cycle. Then your business is suffering from inconsistent lead generation and marketing and you need to fix that. And so what that looks like is putting together your power hour routine so that you can break down the specific key tasks that you should be doing each day. If it's on the calendar and if it's scheduled and clear and easy to implement, you're much more likely to get it done, which is what we love Asana for. And so how we do this is we set up Asana with a couple of key actions that we can get done in about 90 minutes or less every single day. And let me tell you, there are days in my real estate business where this is all I can get done. Like there's something going on or maybe I'm sick or the family is sick or something's happening. We're getting ready to go on vacation. I have such a limited window of time to really get some key things done in my business. I'm always going to make sure I prioritize the power hours so that I'm always bringing clients into my pipeline. And so think about what that needs to look like for your business. How many people do you need to talk to each day to bring in the number of leads you need in order to hit your target number of closings each month? Depending on what that looks like, you can actually create your day-to-day -day action plan for Asana. Now, of course, if you're in Market Authority, you know that we give this to you like in module one as soon as you join. But if you're doing this by hand, this just takes a little bit of thought, forward thinking, sketching out to put it in place. And once you do have this in place, it will change the game for your real estate business. Now, the second key system that you want to have built in Asana are your transaction workflows. Now, the way that we do transaction workflows is instead of having like one giant SOP for a transaction where it's like, imagine the entire client journey from the first interaction to six months of follow up to onboarding them as a new client, getting them pending, and then closing and post-close. Like that could be 12 months worth of tasks. We don't do it like that in Asana. We look at where the key milestones or drop-offs are in that process, and we break down segments of transaction workflows for each. So some of our transaction workflows look like a uh, pre-listing appointment and then new listing. So like what we're doing to get a new listing listed in live. And then we look to listing pending and then post-close, right? Now that creates a much more manageable workflow that we can create in Asana to keep us on track. And when we're done with the project, we can just go ahead and delete it. And it's saved as a template so that every time we need it, we just open up a new project, open that template for that specific key part of the transaction and get it going. Now, again, if you want more in-depth tutorials on how to do this, Asana has a great knowledge base. They have a lot of really helpful tutorials that can walk through specifically like where to click to make this stuff happen. But if you want me to walk you through it, I do that exclusively in the Market Authority Academy. So if you want to, again, skip ahead and just take my system so you can swipe and adapt, your first step is to actually book a call with me. We'll talk about how that works in the Market Authority Academy because it's an entire system. The reason why I don't provide these uh, systems like broken down, just like a la carte <laughs> is because if you don't know what your lead generating tasks need to be, the system's not going to work for you, right? Like the, the templates aren't going to work for you. And I don't take money from people who I don't think I can help, right? So 
that's kind of the process. But again, you can very easily do this by documenting your transaction steps, breaking it down into those milestones, and then creating your templated workflows in Asana. All that together might take you, I don't know, couple hours of time to do, you can totally figure that out. Okay, now the final workflows that you want to have in Asana are your admin and CEO workflows. So your admin and CEO workflows are the specific actions that you're doing like once a week or once a month. And this is where time management becomes really streamlined. This is where you start to get a lot of time back. It's knowing what to do on a daily basis versus a weekly basis versus a monthly basis right? A lot of times we find that time management becomes an issue because we don't know what to do when. And so we feel like we have to do everything all at once in one given day. Whereas you can really get by with just a couple of key activities done each day and breaking it down in the right pace. So for example, I don't need to be tracking my metrics every single day. I don't need to be planning a month's worth of content every single day. I can do that once a month and be done. And so thinking about what those, uh, weekly and monthly workflows look like for your admin and CEO time is really helpful. So here's a quick look at my admin and CEO list. And these are things that I'm doing on Friday specifically so that I can take a little bit of time to work on the business to help propel my business forward instead of being so stuck working in the business that I'm never making strategic moves forward. Does that make sense? Okay, I hope so. Hopefully that gave you kind of a good look at how I break that down. That is like a key workflow that is so helpful and it really changes the game for agents in the Market Authority Academy too. So that's what I got for you. And I think this is a really good kind of start to the conversation. And I wanna hear what questions come up for you. Have you tried using Asana? What do you think of it? Are you stuck or do you want more? Let me know in the comments if we need to make this a part two or if there's a specific side of Asana that you would like to le learn more about. But of course, if you wanna skip ahead to taking action right away, you'll go ahead and do that by booking a call with me and I'll show you exactly how we can help you implement this in just a couple of clicks in the Market Authority Academy. Okay, so I wanna know what were your aha moments or what questions came up after I shared all this about Asana. Leave me those comments below so I can know where your mind is at and if we need to do like a follow-up because there's a lot more I could say about Asana, but I figured we would start here. And if you are serious about building a real estate business that actually works for you, be sure to hit subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss what's coming next. Thanks so much as always for tuning in. And until next time, keep on crushing it.